Hello, fourth graders, it's Mrs. Belatesh, and it's great to see you today. We are going to start an engineering project, and we're going to use it, do an engineering project based on what we've done last week about erosion. So erosion is when rocks, sand, soil, earth materials are moved by natural causes, wind, water, ice. Weathering is when rocks are broken into pieces. Now, sometimes weathering happens during erosion, right? So last time we put some water on different materials and we saw different landforms being created. A lot of times we saw a canyon, we saw some the materials carried away, maybe creating a delta or a fan. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the materials. We're gonna test each one alone. We're gonna see what happens to just soil, then sand, then gravel, and then pebbles, and get some ideas about the properties of those materials and how we can use them in our engineering project. Lucky does not fly away, she just walks around on campus. Hi, Lucky. Here, Luck. Come here, Luck. Hi, Lucky. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. This is going to investigate uh, soil with one wood angle with the flood container. And we're going to see what happens with the soil material after one liter of water is poured. So here we go. Let's see what happens with the soil. Okay, there is like a little bit of a landslide. The water is starting to come down. Up oh, there is the landslide right there. The soil became waterlogged. And now there is a canyon being formed. Wow. That entire material is being eroded away. Wow, look at that. Wow. It continues to have like a big collapse. The water, the soil absorbs water, and then all of a sudden there's a huge collapse. So here is a close-up of what happened. You see that there's a hole there. The water at the end, the water just went through there. There's a little bit of a, it's hard to see because of the light, but there's a little bit of a bridge and a canyon underneath. And a lot of soil was washed away all the way down to the bottom of the stream table. And then material was carried all the way down to the basin. Okay, these materials, oh, there's Lucky and the chickens walking around campus. These, this is sand. Again, one wood angle and the flood level. And now I'm going to pour the water. Ooh, look. Started to have a complete failure. Oh my gosh, the sand became so waterlogged that we've had a complete failure of the front of the plateau. And there's the canyon. So water can build up and build up and build up, but once the sand can no longer absorb or retain the water. There was a huge collapse. There is the water eroding the sand. You can see the sand being carried away, carried with the water, moving downstream. Here's the final look. So you can see the canyon. You could also see how these, this entire slope kind of just 
gave way and that entire amount came down. And look, there's Lucky. Hi, Lucky. That entire thing just sl slid down because the water reduced the friction between the particles. Hi, Lucky. Okay, this one is gravel. One piece of wood and the flood bowl. Here we go. So I see the water coming through the gravel, but I do not see the gravel moving. So I don't see very much erosion. I see water, but I don't see erosion. Erosion is when water moves earth materials. And I'm looking at the water here, and I don't really see any water moving the gravel. The last test I'm gonna do is with pebbles. Now, this experiment, We've been having all these things stay the same. The ruler is the same. The flood level is the same. The one piece of wood is the same. Those things are the controls. The one thing that we're changing is the material. That is the variable. Okay, here comes the water. Okay, so the water's coming down and I see some silt in the water, but I don't see any pebbles moving. I see the water com is coming out from the bottom. And I guess there's so many big holes in between the pebbles that it allows the water to go through, but the water is not, does not have enough force to move the pebbles. Here are our four different materials. Soil. The soil absorbed the water. It soaked it up. And then once the soil, soil became waterlogged and because it was at an angle, we had a landslide. And because soil is small, a large amount of soil was carried down the slope. Here's the sand. Sand is a little similar to soil. It got wet, it absorbed some of the water, and then there came a point where the sand could not hold the water any longer, and there was a massive landslide down slope. Water did carry the sand, not as much as it carried the soil. The gravel and the pebbles both share a common property. There's a lot of space in between the rocks. Because of that space in between the rocks, the water is able to travel through the material and the rocks are not carried away. So let's get your science notebook and turn to the table of contents. Number 12, testing earth materials. That's on page 22. And then number 13, the engineering design process is going to be on page 23. Those are the page numbers for me. Okay, fourth graders, we got a lot of great information and I would like us to put some of this information into our science notebook and put the date at the top. And then I want us to just put down some notes. And I wrote down soil absorbs the water it becomes heavy and gravity pulls it down the slope. Remember, gravity is a pulling force and things go down towards the center of the earth. Then I said sand. Water fills the spaces in between the sand grains and then there is a collapse and the 
the uh, sand moves down the slope. And then I wrote gravel and pebbles that both of them have large spaces that allow water to travel through. And that way the water doesn't push as much on the sand and the gravel. All right. Now, on the next page, I wrote the title Engineering Design Process. So the goal is to limit soil erosion on a hillside. Here is the setup for your engineering project. At the top of the slope is going to be some soil. The goal is to make sure that the soil does not create a huge canyon that it is not eroded away. And you have a choice of what materials you might use. Will you add more soil? Will you add sand? Will you add gravel? Will you add pebbles? Start thinking about what you would do to make sure that this hillside is not eroded by water. So now the question is, what materials would you use to limit soil erosion? So please write that in your, in your notebook. This is the question we want to solve. This is the problem. What materials can you use to limit soil erosion? All right, I love this engineering project. I can't wait till we finish it up next time. See you next time, cougars.